Mike in Des Moines, Iowa writes to me and he says, Paul, my two channel system is located in our family room, which is carpeted on a wood subfloor. Unfortunately, my subwoofer sits only 15 inches away from my equipment rack, which consists of a tube preamp and a solid state amplifier. I'm concerned that my equipment is absorbing the vibrations from the subwoofer, thus negatively affecting the sound. It is not possible to move the subwoofer as my large magnet pans already take up a lot of space. Yeah, I'll bet. Uh, should I consider decoupling the subwoofer from the floor to ensure the equipment does not absorb the vibrations, especially the tube preamp? Thanks in advance. We have pretty much the same situation going on here. Vacuum tube preamplifier, a gut-punching, <laughs> floor-shaking sub working from 30 hertz down below, and the FR30s themselves going down to 23 uh, hertz. So there's plenty. And, and, and this floor, while not a wooden floor, it's, it's, it's bouncy. It's, it's a, um, we're on a mezzanine. And <laughs> our, our parts room is right below this and when we're cranking it up when somebody comes say on a tour which by the way tours are going again so just reach out to us and we'll we'll arrange the tour for you which is kind of fun you can come in here and hang out and listen and and hear what a really high-end audio system sounds like those poor guys down there when we're playing something with really low bass it's like whoa because it comes right through the floor so we've got the same situation sort of and I don't think it's appropriate to decouple the sub. And here's why. I think, from my perspective, that part of the fun of a high-end audio system with full range, low bass, is the visceral feel of that bass. And I wouldn't want to give that up for the world. I sit here in that chair, and we'll play a certain track and oh my gosh it is so satisfying to feel the room shake it's just that's what would happen if there was a musician here playing that particular note that happened when terry and i and jessica were out recording for for the upcoming art of hi-fi series we have the, uh, called bass we, we made a uh, a track on octave record that should be out here in late december called, uh, it's, it's the first one in a series called The Art of Hi-Fi. And the first one is bass. I mean, why not? So we went to a, actually a synagogue in the middle of Denver where they had this massive pipe organ. I mean, this thing, wow, <sighs> what a treat. And this place is huge. Well, you can imagine, it's a pipe organ, right? And as Ken Mervine, Gabriel, the trumpeter Gabriel Mervine's father, who's, wow, what a player. He's cranking away on this thing and hitting the pedals in the room. This synagogue, this church is shaking. The chairs are shaking. So when we do that, I think that visceral feel is really important. And I would never suggest decoupling the sub from the floor. Now, if you are worried about your vacuum tube preamp getting the vibrations in and sounding worse for it, decouple the preamp. Now, I don't pay a lot of attention to it. This rack, we designed it to be pretty massive and it's got big thick slabs. I think these slabs are, how much is that? Two inches? I don't know, I can't tell. That's what my wife said. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Mine's always in the gutter. I th so anyway, it's uh, an inch and a half, two inches of solid wood that helps a bit. But you can definitely get sorbethane. You can get um, the, uh, what are they, Gaia's? Uh, I don't remember exactly what they're called, but uh, the, the little absorbing feet. And that does help a lot. So that's what I would do as opposed to decoupling the subwoofer. Okay, thanks for the question. Talk to you later. Bye.